Kieran, thanks for talking to us. I know you won't want to go into too much detail regarding team selection, but hopefully Nathan Broadhead is progressing in the right direction. Yeah, the whole group's in a in a good way, really. Um, no no issues this week, really, apart from the the long term ones. And, and Nathan's trained with us in the in the last couple of days as well, so um, that's a positive. So we still have one more session to go. Um, but if, if no issues over the next 24 hours, then we'll have a, a relatively full uh, pick of players to choose from. We spoke to Wes as well, and although Nathan's just got out there to train, he just said that having the lads around the building has been a, a really nice addition to things and a good presence about them all. Yeah, the squad looks strong. Um, we're training with yeah with good numbers, with uh, covering competition in each position, and uh, that's what you want. So no, there's um, the players are all competing, they've all trained well, and uh, yeah, it would be of course eleven who get to start a game on Saturday and represent the whole group and go into the game trying to do everything to get us off to a good start, and of course then the subs ready to make a big impact. And before we look at that game, you had uh, the night at Portman Road, and you watching the Youth Cup. What did you make of that? Yeah, it was really good. I enjoyed it. I think hopefully everyone there would have enjoyed it, or um, apart from the, the very cold weather. No, I thought uh, credit to, to Sam and to the to the players and um, everyone involved. But I thought it was a good performance. Tough game, of course. Nottingham Forest. I watched them in the the final last year against Man United, so it was never going to be an easy game. But it was a really good competitive game. Um, could have went either way. Ebbed and flowed. And um, credit to the to the players for coming out on top and uh, a great game to look forward to now. Oxford this weekend it was uh, great scenes in the away end last year what do you expect this time around yeah it's um, it's a good challenge a good game um, and we need to be ready for everything you know it's uh, we've played them uh, a few weeks ago but it doesn't have too much um, bearing on, on our mindset going into this game every game lives its own life um, It'll be a difficult game, um, but one that we're looking forward to. As you said, uh, the away end there is um, is really good. You know, they crowded into into that corner, really vocal. Um, again, a, a great away um, turnout expected, and we just look forward to getting there. Now, you know, it's been a um, a good training week, but a long training week waiting for the for the game to come on Saturday, and everyone's itching to go. I was going to say, with, with the way the fixtures fell, that's the most recent or the, the closest gap between the two games, isn't it? But you said not too much bearing on this time around. No, I think of course you know there's there's different bits you can take from it, and mm. tactically there'll be bits that are the same, and probably bits that you know the teams might try and change. Um, of course, we won, so the, the players will have good feelings from the game. But on the other hand, uh, I'm sure Carl will be trying to use that in their advantage as well in terms of their mindset. So we just need to be ready to go again. You know, the last time we played them, it was a, a really good performance. Um, but there was also bits of the game that were even, and, and we need to be ready to to go to to battle again for 90 minutes and um, again be ready for what the game throws up because it's a tough opponent and. Um, a tough place to go and we know we're going to have to be be at our best and that's what we're focusing on.